welcome back to the channel. We are so excited to tour our latest conversion with you all today. If you're interested in building a van similar to this one, we just launched our Patreon, which there you can get exclusive content you can't get anywhere else, like building tutorials and the links to everything seen in this van, from the pillows to the paint color. Aside from liking this video and subscribing to the channel, joining our Patreon is the best way to support us as a tiny team of two moving forward. Let's tour this tiny home. This tiny home on wheels is built inside a 136 inch wheelbase 2018 Ram ProMaster. Because we live in our own van full time, we know just how important security and privacy is when living in a home that goes wherever you do, which is why we prioritized this divider wall when designing this van. It has a sliding pocket door that divides the cab from the living area and makes living on the road that much more comfortable. This wall helps with temperature regulation since the cab is usually the place that gets both the hottest and the coldest. From the front, this wall makes it impossible to see into the living space, which really puts our minds at ease. It also makes the space feel so much more like a home and less like a vehicle. Coming into the main part of the living area, this van has an open layout with a fixed bed, bench seat that converts to a shower, a kitchen, and floor-to-ceiling unit. This floor-to-ceiling unit features plenty of storage and in the middle, a 65-quart Dometic refrigerator and freezer. Since this van is a mid-wheelbase vehicle with limited space, we wanted to make the most of this unit. So under the fridge, we have the first of two pull-out extensions that helps maximize the counter space. From there, another tray pulls out from underneath to reveal this super sleek stainless steel propane cooktop. With this being our 11th van, we've tried basically every cooking solution under the sun and have come to the conclusion that the less power, the better. This cooktop hooks into a small one pound propane bottle you can find virtually anywhere and requires no power to cook, meaning you can cook anywhere, anytime. To cook indoors, turn on your max air fan located directly above the stove and open this side window for plenty of ventilation. Since so much of this lifestyle is about getting outside more often, we love that this setup is semi-permanent and offers the option to easily be taken with you outdoors. In the kitchen, there is a minimal backsplash with a textured wall above, gold faucet with dark stainless steel sink, and a geometric rattan divider to divide the space between the kitchen and the fixed bed. In terms of storage, there are two cabinets overhead, four drawers, and one large compartment underneath the sink, perfect for trash and recycling. The gold hardware on the drawers and cabinets have a locking mechanism that keeps everything in place while moving. They're from RV Labs, who we'll have linked below. Living in less than 60 square feet of space, versatility is key. The rounded part of this bench would be perfect for laundry or shoe storage. It can be lifted off of this French cleat and moved around the van, giving you enough standing room to cook, another seating option, or a step stool to get in and out of bed. As tiny home builders and dwellers, we really appreciate having the option to rinse off without sacrificing valuable square footage which is why the rest of the bench transforms into a fully contained bathroom and pop-up shower. Inside, you'll find your compo closet cutty composting toilet, a waterproof power port for the fan so you can use the activated carbon filter, and another port that allows access to the garage if you'd like to externally vent your cutty. You'll find everything you need to transform this bench into a shower in this waterproof bag behind the passenger seat. The first ring can be hung from these four clips in the ceiling. To rinse off, you can replace the household attachment on the faucet with this sprayer nozzle. Flip your water pump and hot water heater on and enjoy. Setup and teardown takes a few minutes, but this is a great solution for someone who wants the ability to rinse off every now and then, but doesn't see the need for a permanent fixed shower stall. When the shower is stowed away, the bench serves as an excellent work from home station with this lagoon table mount. Natural light can make a space seem so much larger than it actually is, which is why we've chosen to include this large Dometic Hecky 2 skylight directly above the bed. Not only does it let in tons of natural light, it lets in tons of fresh air when open. It also has a blackout shade and bug screen. 
Speaking of natural light, all of the windows in this van, including the two back windows and sliding vented side window, can be purchased through AM Auto, who will be linked below. These floors are luxury vinyl planks made to resemble real tile, and we love how much dimension they add to this gray monotone aesthetic without drawing too much attention. We wanted to put a creative spin on our classic slatted ceiling and landed on the idea of breaking up the LED strips to create a dramatic visual effect. Overall, there are six lighting options in this van. They can be found overhead in the ceiling, under the upper cabinets in the kitchen, as underglows on the floor, in the divider wall shelves, in both bed boxes, and in the garage area. This fixed bed is 75 inches long by 48 inches wide. These curved bed boxes have small pucks that illuminate and are the perfect way to add some dynamic interest to an otherwise pretty flat space. On one side of the bed, there is a floating wood shelf, and on the other, a pocketed wall cubby ideal for small items. A single 225-watt semi-rigid marine-grade solar panel from Custom Marine Products is mounted on the roof of the van. Because this panel is made for boats, it's made to stand up to tough environments, is extremely efficient, and is even walkable. If you're interested, we'll have it linked below. While renewable energy serves as this tiny home's main source of power, this 30 amp battery to battery charger serves as a secondary means of charging, letting your batteries charge off the alternator anytime the van is running. This is helpful for days where you may not bank enough solar energy. As a third means of charging, this 30 amp charger gives you the ability to plug into shore power. This would be useful if you were staying at a campground with hookups, or in the driveway of a friend because you could top off your batteries by staying plugged into the grid. As far as water goes, there are 25 gallons of fresh water on board as well as a 15 gallon gray water tank securely mounted underneath the vehicle. We've gotten so many questions about our six liter 12 volt water heater, which we sourced through AJ and we'll have linked below. If you're looking for a super efficient means of heating water in a van, we would definitely recommend this product. And if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, this back shower gives you the option to rinse off yourself, pets, or outdoor equipment. Electrical systems are easily one of the most intimidating and complicated parts of any build, but we'll do our best to break this system down. Solar power from the sun flows into this solar breaker, into this Victron MPPT charge controller, and is then stored in these extremely high quality batteries from Battleborn, who we are so excited to be partnering with on this build. This system features three of their 100 amp hour, 12 volt lithium batteries for a total of 300 amp hours. The power that is banked in these batteries then flows through a kill switch into the Lynx distributor and branches out to these fuse boxes and this inverter. The switch to turn on the inverter can be located in the upper cabinet in the kitchen, along with two USB ports and one 12 volt port. From there, everything in this van receives power, including all the lights, outlets, water pump, water heater, and this Webasto Airtop 2000 heater that is vented into the main living space to keep you nice and cozy in the winter. The dial is located beside the bed, but you can also control the heater settings from your phone with this Bluetooth-enabled smart temperature monitor. We sourced this Webasto heater along with most of our Victron components through the team over at Van Life Outfitters. Lastly, these sliding panels can be removed on both sides of the garage for easy access to the electrical and water systems. We really hope you enjoyed this tour. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave us a comment. One last reminder, if you'd like to join our Patreon and support us, as well as see a little bit more behind the scenes of what it takes to build a van like this, the link to that can be found in the description box below. That about wraps up this one, but we'll see you next time.